It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Although new variants of COVID-19 have been reported, the Department of Health in Region 6 has assured that the region remains free of any. According to DOH-6 spokesperson Dr. Mary Jane Juanico, 47 specimens were sent to the Philippine Genome Center for testing. Some of the overseas Filipino workers was found with the COVID-19 variant, but they were mostly concentrated in Manila where they stayed in quarantine. Juanico added that all OFWs returning into the region have already been tested and found negative for the virus. Since March 13, the DOH reported three variants of concern within the country after testing was done on several COVID-19 positive samples. An SUV and a 10-wheeler truck collided in Pototan, Iloilo around 1 p.m. today, killing two people. The victims were identified as Emil and Meren Pagdolonan, driver and passenger of the SUV, respectively. The truck driver was identified as Regent Albacete. Police Staff Sergeant Rafi Gonzalez of the Pototan Municipal Police Station said the SUV was headed for the town of Pototan when it crashed with a truck bound for the city. The victims were rushed to the Iloilo Provincial Hospital in Pototan but were declared dead on arrival. Around 1.7 million pesos worth of suspected illegal drugs was confiscated in a buy-bust operation in Barangay Estefania, Bacolod City, this morning. Police identified the suspects as married couple Christine Vivero, 35, and Edwin Vivero, 34. Christine was arrested and placed in a cell at the police station while her husband managed to escape. Both suspects will face charges for violating the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Around 250 grams of suspected shabu, 1,000 pesos by bust money, and various drug paraphernalia were recovered. The operation was led by the Joint Operatives of Bacolod City Police Station 4 and the Drug Enforcement Unit of Bacolod City. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lusaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.